Oh, I'm preparedness. Him? That's disaster. He doesn't have too much to say. He's been hanging around more and more. Although, he's usually not this easy to spot. He's a busy guy. He's always up to something. You know, he's taught me a few lessons, like if you know when and where he'll show up, it's easier to take action. But it's those unexpected visits that... that do the most damage. And that's normally how he works. It's not like he's in the habit of calling ahead. Hey, disaster here. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you're available for a chemical spill. Uh, Wednesday, maybe one o'clock. No, no good. Oh, I got a new thing I'm bringing in. Earthquakes, you'll love it. I'm shipping them in from the West Coast. No? Dan, it's not like he's always there. Constantly reminding you to be prepared and to get ready. If he were this annoying, I'm sure you'd be ready for him. But being ready for disaster, well, that's your responsibility. I mean, you go to great lengths to get yourself ready for far less serious threats. It's a good look for you. Disaster is always out there, plotting everything from tornadoes to terrorist attacks to who knows what. But there are a few simple steps you can take to keep him in his place. Have an emergency kit, keep it stocked, and know exactly where it is. Have an emergency plan and share it with your family, your friends, and your neighbors. And know the potential threats in your area. And be prepared with at least a couple of ways to stay informed. Sure, he looks big and scary. And you can't stop him from showing up. But take it from preparedness. You and your family can handle whatever disaster dishes out. Have a kit, make a plan, and stay informed. Visit preparemetrokc.org. for more details on how to keep disaster in his place. All right, people, let's get this mess cleaned up. Oh.